Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jean and I do subscription unboxing and unbaggings and I do all sorts. And Amanda's making a nest back there. <laughs> She's making a nest. She's messing up all the blankets. Okay. Uh, we'll just... Okay, she's comfortable now. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you are new, <laughs> welcome. I do subscription unboxing and unbaggings, and I do all sorts. Uh, I also do some thrifting. I do some hauls, uh, clearance rack shopping, and mystery boxes and bags. So if those are the kind of videos you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I do love getting new subscribers. And welcome back to my current friends. You guys are awesome. And if you saw my title, I want a giveaway from Fawn. From Fawn's channel is Fawn Figures It Out. And this was the her 100 subscriber giveaway. She's all the way up to three, doing a 300. I think she even posted the winner of her 300 subscriber giveaway. But, we had issues. <laughs> she mailed me out. The giveaway was in a, a beautiful box and I was very excited. And for months it was just floating all over. I don't know if it was floating on my side of the pond, her side of the pond. It just flat out. Hopefully she got it returned to her. I, I hope, I hope, I hope. So, she sent me a gift card. And it's for, was for Nost Nostrum, Nostrum's Rack. Now, I've heard of that, but I never checked out their website before. Well, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. What a fabulous, fabulous website. Oh, Nordstrom's Rack is amazing, amazing. I'm not going to tell you the amount that she sent me, but I am going to show you what I purchased. I purchased five things, four of which came today, and one is on its way, <clears throat> but uh, I will tell you what it is. Uh, but if you're not familiar with Nordstrom's Rack, you've got to check it out. The prices are, I mean, I, when you hear Nordstrom's, I think of high-priced, bougie type of, you know. Well, the rack is fabulous. The prices are out of this world. And it was, I'm just going back Definitely. When I have a little extra cash, <laughs> I am going back there. It, it's it's awesome. I spent hours, hours on the website just throwing stuff into my cart. And then I'm like, oh, well, oh, fabulous. The, the only thing with them, with the rack, is a lot of times they'll only have certain sizes left. So, you know, if you do have to kind of shop around, but I love it. I love it. So I got five things. I spent $16.45 of my own money. The rest was with the gift card. And I am going to show you what I got. Uh, for, like I said, four things came. Uh, one thing is delayed, but uh, I'm supposed to get it in the next couple of days. So they don't ship to P.O. boxes. So uh, if you do uh, shop with them, you have to have a, a street address. So this is the box. Yay! And I did cut the tape, you know, all that good stuff. So what do you do when you have a gift card from somewhere and 
they have everything. Like the Nostrum's Rack has, they have clothing, they have makeup, they have jewelry, they have um, electronics, they have doggy stuff. And I decided that a couple of things are stuff that I've wanted, 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 but I couldn't, I really couldn't justify buying them. Even though they're not that expensive, it's just something that I, I just couldn't justify purchasing. So the first thing that I purchased is this. And these are wireless headphones. And I have been wanting wireless earphones, I guess you could say, for the longest time. And I have plenty of the wired ones. Um, they're fine. I, you know, the wires are a pain in the neck sometimes, especially with wearing a mask. Um, so I have really, really wanted these. And so I got them. So um, I'm super excited. I am super excited because, like I said, it's just something that I wouldn't, I wanted, but I wasn't going to purchase because my regular earphones are perfectly fine but um i am super excited to get these charged get these going uh awesome so and again i'm not going to give you prices but i can just tell you that these were a good price so the other thing that i got that i wanted 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 and i guess you could say with everything going on in the world, it probably does justify purchasing it, but this is the one thing that didn't come and it it's a cell phone sanitizer. It's one of those, you put the cell phone in and other little things too, you can put in it and it sanitizes the cell phone. Um, I, like I said, I should be getting that in a couple of days, but I, I've always wanted one. I never wanted to just, I don't know. So that should be coming. And when I get that, I will show you guys. So, I don't tend to show this um, on video, but um, I got underwear. <laughs> this is the package. <laughs> I got a three pack. Now, my favorite, this is TMI, I'm sorry. I love boy shorts. They're just, to me, they're the most comfortable. Um, and I love them. Sorry for all the crinkling. So, I got a three pack of boy shorts. And these are in a size large, extra large. And they're, they're just black and white, or black and gray striped. And I got a pair of pink ones. They have little ribbing in them. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed showing underwear. <laughs> and um, pink and gray. So um, these are by CNC California. And they're called Trendy Rib Classic Fit Boy Shorts. So um, I love boy shorts. So I'm very excited to, to get these. Um, the next thing I got was, what are these? These are, I've been looking for leggings. And I prefer my leggings long. And the ones I got in my first Stitch Fix, they weren't what I wanted. So, uh, I found these. And they are camos. <laughs> they are camouflaged. Love the colors. They're long. Um, they got, these are all um, high-waisted because I like high-waisted. These are by Philosophy Women. These are a 1X. 
and um, I just I just love them this is I've been wanting a pair they were a super price super price so um, I'll do a little try on for you guys uh, but let me show you the one other thing that I did get and And what's good, I can return them if they don't fit. Now, these are um, Slim Fit Five Pocket, uh, not real pockets, but um, these are, what are they calling these? As they're calling these, these are jeggings. Yes, they're by Max Studio. They're in an extra large, they're a stretch, stretch knit fabric for a comfortable fit, mid-rise, ankle length, and slim leg. So, and these are in an extra large and they're just black. This is exactly what I've been looking for. They do have working back pockets, front pockets. No, they're not working front pockets, but that's okay. Um, so, and they're just black. But these are what I've been wanting to be able to wear with big sweaters. I've got a ton of big sweaters that, and blouses that I've purchased, Kohl's, clearance rack. Um, and so this is what I've been looking for. And they're super soft. Both of these are super soft. So um, I will do the try on and um, show you. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with the first pair. These are the camo leggings. I just don't have the best setup for doing try-ons. So I am going to get up on my tiptoes. And these are the camo. I'm gonna step back. Can't go that far. And uh, yeah, I do have a little pooch here. It's more than a little. Uh, they are super comfortable. They feel really good. I don't know. You can see the back too well. <laughs> they are a little on the short side, and I thought they would be a little longer, but. Um, let me move this and put it down here. Let's see if you can see. No, that's not working either. Sorry for moving you guys around. I need a better setup for try-ons. So these, oh, go down here. See, they're a little bit short. I prefer my stuff much lower. But um, I still love them. They're extremely comfortable. And uh, they go up nice and high. They have a nice waistband. Like you can see that. So anyway, those are the camo ones. Sorry guys, oh, I'm so awful at these try-ons. So hang on and I'm gonna try the other ones on. Okay, so watching that one back was quite awkward. All right, so now I have the black jegging type. These are fabulous. They are the perfect length. Uh, they go up nice and high. Open the pooch a little bit. They are so comfortable and I could actually get away with wearing these with a long shirt or a long sweater out in public and be super comfortable. Come in a little bit. And that is the back. I am very hippie, so I do definitely need, I could probably even wear Spanx underneath them, but that's not, probably not gonna happen. So anyway, I love these. Super comfortable. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Because I can return them if they don't look good, look bad. 
I mean, if they don't look good. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. But these, oh man, they're so comfortable. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. So I still have the black ones on. They're so comfortable. Oh, love them. So those are, that's what I got from my giveaway win from Fawn Figures It Out. And I will absolutely link her channel below. I'm pretty sure 99% uh, of my subscribers are subscribed to her as well. Um, but if you are not, Fawn is just fabulous. She does hauls, she does unboxings, um, she does Monday Night Masks, or Monday, she does masks, Mask Monday with all of us. Uh, and she's just got the best, she's the sweetest woman. She's got the best sense of humor. She's got adorable animals too. <laughs> so um, I will definitely link her channel down below. Um, Cause you gotta check her out. She's fabulous. And her channel is glow growing by leaps and bounds. So um, yeah, so that's my giveaway. And I also wanted to just chat a little bit. I don't want this video to go too long, but um, a few of my friends, subscribers, have noticed that I have not been quite as up, peppy, maybe cheerful as I normally am. And I just wanted to kind of, the this time of year, I have, I have depression and I have anxiety. And this time of year, my depression gets pretty bad. It gets, and um, so I'm having issues with that. Uh, I also have um, asthma, which happens when I get stressed. Um, stress and anxiety brings my asthma on. And so I've been having some asthma issues uh, the past day or so. And really, I think that all just stems to, uh, I'm not very good with the holidays. They're just, I'm just not good with them. And today is Thursday. It's Thursday evening and uh, Friday, PJ is coming for the weekend, which I'm super excited about. And, but it's kind of a, I'm excited that he's coming, but he's also coming up because Saturday we are having a service for my stepmother. My stepmother passed away on November 7th of 2014. And we are finally burying her ashes. Uh, my father's been hanging on to her ashes for a long time, which is fine. Um, but he got something, I don't know what it was, but he got something in his head and he wants them buried and he wants them buried as soon as possible. My father is 90. He lives in Florida. So, and normally my sister does most of the dealings with my father. I, I don't want to say dealings, but she makes the arrangements for him to come visit and um, my brother helps him uh, with the financial stuff. And I was just always kind of there. Well, my sister has been extremely busy at work. She's a nurse. She's been pretty stressed out uh, at work. So she asked me to handle the um, this burial of the ashes. So, um, absolutely. I don't mind doing it at all. It's not, um, uh, but I just, I tend to get anxious, stressed. So, and, and it really wasn't a bad thing. I had to contact the cemetery, uh, which was fine. The person who runs the cemetery, knows my father, knew my stepmother, and um, 
he's 90 as well. This man is 90 and he's still doing this kind of thing. He owns the monument place next door. He runs the cemetery. He's 90. Impressive. So I got the information from him. My father had, I had to get my father to mail me her ashes. So he mailed them to me. They have been sitting on my dining or my kitchen table for oh, about a week and a half. So um, I have those. We had to set up when we were going to, you know, do the service and, and everything. So we're doing that on Saturday. And, um, but we needed the death certificate and my sister couldn't find one. My brother couldn't find one. I have a little safe in my closet. The lock broke. I couldn't get into it. Um, so now I have to get a death certificate. So I'm kind of freaking out. I called the funeral home, uh, and they were, they did a, a marvelous job when my stepmother passed away in the, the service and everything. They were wonderful. Boy, let me tell you something. Talking to them on the phone was horrible. They were just awful. Uh, they were not helpful. They didn't call me back. So finally I talked to my father and I go, Dad, you have to mail me a death certificate. And he's like, okay, okay. And now my father's 90 again. He's in great health. He's getting a little forgetful. So, but he did mail me <laughs> the death certificate. So we got that and everything's all set. So I should not be stressed or anxious because everything is all set. So, but, um, that's probably why you notice in my, if you notice in my past couple of videos, I'm just not quite as peppy and I don't, I don't want to like air out all my, all my stuff. You know, I want this to be a fun channel and, you know, I don't know how personal I should go on, on, my YouTube channel. So I kind of get nervous if I say too much, I might, you know, lose some subscribers or, you know, they might look at me differently because I have depression. I have anxiety. I don't know, but I just figured since a few, you did notice. And so hopefully, hopefully I will, you know, learn how to be less stressed, how to enjoy the holidays and that kind of thing. Um, also, um, health wise, I finally got an answer to what I have, uh, what's going on. And if you don't know, I, in 2009, I had gastric bypass surgery, which is weight loss surgery. And I lost 150 pounds. Um, but I've had trouble since day one, when, since I've had the surgery. I've had all sorts of issues. Um, and it's now 2020. And I finally find a doctor who says, I know what you have. I have been to numerous gastroenterologists, just regular doctors, and had had so many tests and nobody could figure out what is going on with me? So a couple weeks ago, after I had my CAT scan, the gastroenterologist called me back and she is super. And she says, I don't see anything, but she goes, I am going to figure this out. She goes, give me the weekend. I will figure out what is wrong with you. And she did. <laughs> she called me up. I have, I can't think of the name of it but the non-medical term is called candy cane syndrome. And basically there is a loop. When I had the gas, this is all due to gastric bypass and doing some research. P 
PJ did some research. I don't like to get on those MD channels or anything. And basically 1% of people who have gastric bypass get this loop. I'm the 1%, of course. So um, I have, and I said to my gastroenterologist, I'm like, I'm like, okay, good. You can fix it, right? And she's like, no. <laughs> you have to have see a bariatric surgeon. So I have made an appointment for the 23rd to see a bariatric surgeon. Um, so I don't exactly know what it is, but it has to do with the connection that they made connecting back my, I don't know, something to my stomach when I had the gastric bypass. I'm not sure. I'll learn more about it when I go to the surgeon. So, um, so at least I know what's wrong with me. And this doctor made so much effort to figure it out, which it's awesome. So, so I will find out on the 23rd what I actually have to do, um, for this and uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed and my stomach issues will be, if not totally gone, at least better. <laughs> so, so that's, that's it guys. I just wanted to kind of, I don't know. I hope that none of this was like too much. I hope it's not too depressing or too, you know, I just wanted to put it out there since a few people noticed so um but you know this youtube channel has brought me so much joy meeting so many people so i'm hoping that you know i'm hoping that i will uh you know maybe snap out of this funk a little quicker than i normally do so and also i got so many people who have uh sent me emails for their birth for my birthday list. I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Few of you guys forgot to give me your actual birth dates. So I'm going to send you an email back um, just for your birthday. Um, but awesome, awesome. I'm getting some great emails. Uh, I'm truly, truly loving this and I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to January 1st. I'll be all set, all set to send birthday cards out or just well wishes or anything just whatever floats my boat i guess <laughs> so thank you guys for that um i am getting so close to 400 i do have my boxes ready uh again it's gonna be a skincare and a uh, makeup one so once i hit 400 i will give you a peek at what's going in the boxes and um so yeah, I think, I think we're all up to date. <laughs> so don't forget mask Mondays, everybody, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, do a mask, let us know how you like it, what, what you're doing in the comments. Uh, there's so many of us that are doing it. I'm going to try next week to list all the people that I know who are doing mask Monday so that you guys can just click on and check out their, their videos. But I want to thank Fawn one figures it out please check out her channel I will link it below um, for this wonderful gift card to Nordstrom's rack which oh, it's bad it's so good <laughs> so anyway I am sorry that this video has dragged on a little bit too long but uh, I just wanted to chit chat so anyway I hope that everybody is doing well staying safe and healthy, and uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.